All new at six, you know that living in Florida, sunblock is a must have before you go to the beach. If you read the ingredients though, the sunblock's got a lot of chemicals that protect your skin from the sun, but can actually hurt our reefs. Key West has already taken some steps to protect paradise by banning all sales of sunblock that are not considered reef safe. Tonight, our four in your corners, Alyssa Dickert, is showing you how one state senator has taken a step further, introducing a bill that would require you to get a prescription to purchase certain sunblocks. Alyssa? Before you lather up, take a look at the back of your sunblock bottle. Does it contain oxybenzone or octanazate? Many do. And a doctor's note could soon be required before purchasing sunblock with those chemicals. Whether you're soaking up the sun or playing in the water. These ingredients are also what makes the sunscreens helpful because they're absorbing the ultraviolet rays so that people are not going to be prone to sunburns and ultimately skin cancers. According to the CDC, Florida has the second highest rate of melanoma or skin cancer in the country. Oxybenzone or octanazate act like a sponge. Absorb the rays from the sun, but it doesn't allow it to penetrate deep into the skin, and that's what's offering the protection. Grabbing sunblock containing those ingredients off the shelf might soon not be so easy. Democratic Senator Linda Stewart from Orange County has proposed a bill requiring a prescription to purchase sunblocks that contain those two chemicals. The reasoning? To protect Florida's coral reefs. You can see the um, individual coral lights here. James Douglas, a water school professor at Florida Gulf Coast University, says oxybenzone and octanazate are harmful to reefs. In high concentrations can directly kill the living part of the coral. Uh, in lesser concentrations, they make the coral more vulnerable to bleaching, uh, and bleaching can later on lead to the death of the coral. Reefs protect our coastlines. Douglas says they do this by creating a seawall of protection against hurricanes and rising sea levels. Douglas says sunscreen plays a part, but not the major reason reefs are dying off. Change pollution by excess nutrients, uh, effects of overfishing that cause ripple effects through the environment. Those chemicals might be harmful to reefs, but Hawk says they aren't harmful to our skin. They have been evaluated by the FDA and other organizations. Hawk says if this proposal were to pass, it could increase the prices of sunscreen since you'd have to go through a pharmacy. In Fort Myers Beach, Alyssa Dickert, Fox 4, in your corner.